Good day, YouTubers. Walter here. Uh, been busy as a bee, straightening up, making room here in the garage where I can do some filming out here. Uh, I've got an overhead light up there, so maybe I can do some filming in light at night. Uh, might not be enough lighting there. I don't know. We'll see. But I cleaned off this old barbecue grill that I always use for a workbench, and I need to cut a hole in it so I can stand up my well, I'll show you. The shaft of the engine go right through this thing here. Well, there's already a hole there in this grate. But it ain't big enough. And this is made out of cast iron. So I'm going to take my angle grinder and just cut out uh, probably right across there should be sufficient. And right across there. The shaft is only a little over an inch. Then I can set the engine right up there, roll this thing around, it has wheels on it, and work on this slope this engine at my leisure. Uh, now I don't intend to really repair the engine, but I've decided we're gonna set it up there and disassemble this thing just to see what went wrong inside that engine. Might not ever get it put back together. We already know he probably needs a new engine. There's a miracle. By some miracle, if, if nothing in there was damaged, except for one little part or something that could be replaced, we might try to rig up something with some plastic putty or JB wheel. But I don't think that's going to happen. We're basically just going to take the thing apart and let y'all see what make some tick and maybe in the process some of my viewers out there have a Kohler engine want to know something about what's going on in it this might help them out a little bit okay viewers I don't think it's going to take me too long to cut this metal out here uh, I already got my safety glasses on and I'm ready to rock and roll if y'all want to look over my shoulder Just as easy as going downtown. I'll give you a better look here in a second. Oh, I like to cut that one in two as well. Let's set the engine up there. See how it looks. Yeah, I cut plenty of big enough hole in there now. Oh, that's hot. Don't let me touch that anymore. I know most of you heard my story before about getting burned. Old brother Bill Cleveland, I'm working out on a drift track. I picked up a piece of metal I've been welding on and it burnt the snot out of me. It just singed my hand like you wouldn't believe. Anyway, brother Bill was laughing at me. I got a little huffy with him and said, what are you laughing at, old man? You think it's funny to see somebody getting burned? He just laughed, ha, ha, ha. Brother Parks, I noticed it don't take you long to look at a piece of metal. <laughs> I had to laugh a little bit myself. Let's set the motor up there.
My goodness. My goodness. That breath was digging into my stomach. There we go. Sits on there just fine. And you sit down to rest a minute. That thing heavier than I thought it was. Carried it a pretty good distance. <laughs>